What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another Prize Picks video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment anything in the comment section. Enter your name into the $50 giveaway I do every single week on this channel. Thank y'all for joining me. As always, it is for this Thursday's slate of games for Prize Picks. We're going to go through every single sport that we have over at Props Made Easy Tools. Go ahead and give y'all the best picks, period. Uh, so make sure y'all go join the Props Tools at PropsMadeEasy.com. Only $20 a month. Let's get straight into the picks that we are liking for the third. Well, for the 14th. It is the 13th still where I'm at, but we're going to look over the 14th. So at the top of the list right now, just so we're 100% sure, let me refresh. Let me refresh so we got the brand, the, the brand spanking plays. We're going to start off with NFL. We're going to go Bo Nix under 211.5 passing yards is still the top value option with a minus three sportsbook differential. 208.5 sportsbook line, 204.4 player projection, minus 7.1 projection differential on top of the minus three sportsbook differential. If you flip Bo Nix over, you will see that he has hit this in 40% of the time. He averages 196.8 this season. All right. His line is set at 211.5. So really good spot on the under here for Bo Nix. C.D. Lamb under 62.5 receiving yards at a minus three sportsbook differential. We have a 59.5 sportsbook line on average throughout the uh, sportsbooks that do have lines for him already. 61.2 player projection of minus 1.3. Again, our models for NFL are plus EV plus projection. So the plays that you see here are not only EV when you look at the entire sportsbook industry and then compare them to the prize fix line. Um, but they also have player projection data that simulates the game 10,000 times down to the play level to give you the most accurate player projections possible also integrated into it as well. So all of the plays that you see here from top to bottom are going to be the best plays that are plus EV and plus projection. All right. Jake Ferguson under 39.5 receiving yards at a minus three sportsbook differential. Jaden Daniels under 226.5 passing yards at a minus 2.6, 223.9 sportsbook, sportsbook line, 217.7 player projection, a minus 8.8 per projection differential as well. Patrick Mahomes under 240.5 passing yards at a minus 2.57, 237.9 sportsbook line, player projection of 227, projection differential of minus 12.9. So great spot on the unders on all of these spots right here. There's a handful of NFL plays for you right there that are fantastic options. Moving on to college football. We have Nico Iameli, whatever, however you say this dude's name, Nico. I should have just stopped at Nico. I don't know why I tried to say this dude's last name, but Nico, under 194.5 passing yards on a minus six sportsbook differential. We don't have player projections for college football, so when for our college football tool is sportsbook differential mainly only. When we take all of the sportsbook lines, though, which we have 50-plus sportsbook lines out there that we could take, 188.5 sportsbook line is the average. That's six passing yards less than that prize picks line at 194.5. Really like the under on Nico. As you will see, if you look at his season so far, he's gone under in 75%, averaging 195 passing yards a game, which is slightly over what this line is, but you have to understand as well it's against UGA, um, a very good defense. Anthony Smith, over 68.5 receiving yards at a 5.5 sportsbook differential. 74 is the average sportsbook line for him. Great spot on the over on Anthony Smith. Caden Anderson, over 171.5 passing yards at a 4.5 sportsbook differential. Sportsbook line on average at 176. If we look at his history, we'll see that he averages 113.8 this season. Um, and his line's at 171.5. I get the 113 will take some, you know takes uh, some people off of him looking at the history, but the situation is much better now than it has been for Caden Anderson. So really like the spot there for Caden. Jake Redslaff under 232.5 passing yards at a minus 4.25 sportsbook differential, 228.5 sportsbook line on average. So the under on the 232.5 is a great option. If we look at him, he has gone under in 87.5% of the time this season, and he averages 217.6, as you can see there. So his line is at 232.5. We're going to rock the under on Jake Retzlaff here. Not only do you have the data on the under, but history is great on the under. Average is a whole, what, 15 yards or so under. So great spot there. Trevor Etienne, over 51.5 receiving yards at a four sportsbook differential on the over. Sportsbook lines are 55.5 on average for him this week. 
All right, if we look at his season so far, he's gone over in 57%. He's averaging 57 yards a game, and he is, his line's 51.5. All right, so not only do you have the data on the over, but you have his average at 57. Good spot on Trevor Etienne. All right, let's move on. I know a lot of y'all come for the NBA. Let's talk about the NBA, man. And we're coming here fairly early, so we're not going to have all games on here, I don't believe. I mean, right now we have only Utah and Dallas available at this time of day. Um, so we're just well, we're going to talk about what we got available to us, though, and start off on a high note um, for NBA. We have John Collins under 12.5 rebounds assists at a 53.3 chance to hit on the under there. Minus 140 consensus odds throughout the industry that have lines for him already this morning. Um, and then minus 145 is the highest odds over on flip. Projection of 9.64, a minus 2.86. If we look at his season on his rebounds assists, over the last five, he has got hit this in 60%, averaging 11.6. His rebounds assist line is at 12.5. As we know, they've played about 10 to 11 games so far this season. So to get a better outlook on the entire season so far and, and you know, the, the usage and stuff that these players are having this season so far in their situations, you can look over the last 10 and you'll see that he's hit this in 70%, averaging 10.4 rebounds assists per game. Now his line is at 12.5. Data likes the under. Consensus odds at minus 140 on the under. Gets as high as minus 145. And we have him projected at 9.6. So... Great spot on the under on John Collins. Cody Williams, under 6.5 points plus rebounds at a 52.4 chance to hit. Minus 135 consensus odds on the under. 6.4 projection. If we look at Cody Williams on the season so far over the last 10, we'll see that he's hit this in 60%, averaging 6.3, which is just below that line of his points and rebounds line that he has there. Colin Sexton, under 7.5 rebounds assists. Is going to be a fantastic spot here. Uh, 52.3 chance to hit. Minus 134 consensus odds. I take that back. Not cons not fantastic. It is a yellow chance to hit. Obviously, we're looking for those green chances to hit like that John Collins up here. Ideally, that's what you want. These plays that are hitting 53% or more. That means their consensus odds throughout the entire industry are going to be minus 140 or so. All right. Once you take the VIG out of the sports books and all that stuff, which is the sports book cut, you get an average of 53, a 53% chance to hit, minus the juice. All right, so great spot on John Collins there. Obviously, we're prioritizing the green. But Collins Sexton, 52.3, under 7.5 rebounds assists. If we look at his last, sorry, if we look at his last 10 games, we'll see he's hit this under an 80%, averaging 5.8. His rebounds and assist line is at 7.5. Not only that, but the projection is 7.4, which is just below, but nonetheless below. And then consensus odds at minus 134 on the under. Great spot there. All right, that's about all I would really get into there. I mean, if we sort by last 10 and we just put the people with the best last 10 in order, this is their last 10 games. This is over their last 10 results. Who's got the best hit rate over the last 10? Colin Sexton under 7.5 rebounds plus assists at 52.3 chance to hit on the under. And John Collins under his 12.5 rebounds plus assists at 53.3. All right, and th that green chance to hit is going to be your main play that you want to rock with. Now, when we look at all sports books, all right, let me take off last 10. Let me just go sort by. Um, this is going to show you the best chances to hit across the industry. Keontae George, over 0 0.5 steals plus blocks, a 55.9 chance to hit. Minus 156 consensus odds on the over here. Projection of 0 0.76. When we look at his last 10 games, which will mainly be the season, you'll see that he's averaged 40. He's hit this in 40%. An average 0 0.6 steals plus blocks per game. That's just slightly over that where that line is. Um, yeah, the history, you know, tells you, eh, maybe not. But the consensus odds being crazy at minus 156 on the over um, are are a great. That shows that these sports books are really liking that over spot on Keontae George. And at the end of the day, all of these sports books have so much data that go into these things we take advantage of all that data they utilize and we use it against these these sites Keontae george you can get this over 0 0.5 steals and blocks on fliff hard rock uh cody williams under 2.5 rebounds you can get this at 55.8 chance to hit on fliff hard rock clay thompson under 3.5 made threes 55.7 chance to hit you can get this play on fliff hard rock and as more games come in i'm not sure how many games are on tap for tomorrow I don't know if this is the only game or just other lines haven't come in. I'm guessing this probably, let me see. Let me see real quick. We've got Dallas, Utah tomorrow. Yeah, that's it. 
<laughs> that's it. At least that's all that's on Prize Picks right now. All right. So if more games are happening tomorrow, like I said, I just checked Prize Picks just to see what was on there. Um, yeah, we just have one game so far to choose from. So if that's all the games that are playing, then so be it. If not, and more games are added, you'll see more of these props, uh, more of these pop up on Props Made Easy. Remember, Props Made Easy refreshes their data every three seconds. So data is coming in all the time, nonstop. Matter of fact, with that being said, let's refresh and then let's move to our next session section. Let's check NBA one more time. Yep, John Collins still at the top on his under rebounds plus assists. Um, real quick, are there any? We do have some goblins. The John Collins over 0 0.5 steals is 61%. Derek Lively, the second over 0 0.5 turnovers is 60%. We don't have any demons out yet. Anyways, NBA Sportsbook Difference. Uh, what NBA Sportsbook Differential is, uh, for anybody who doesn't know and doesn't utilize Props Made Easy, when you have majority of sportsbooks on an entire different line than the line on prize picks, um, then we take the average of all of those sports books and then we compare that average line to the line on prize picks. All right. So any players that show up here have majority of sports books on an entirely different line than prize picks does. Just to let y'all know. All right. MLB, NBA fantasy, nothing's going to be there. NBA combos, nothing there. College basketball, nothing up right now. For NHL, we have Matt Boldy under 3.5 shots on goal over on underdog. We don't have anything for prize picks at the minute, but this underdog play is at 53.2 chance to hit. Minus 139 consensus odds throughout the industry on the under. Projection of 3.08. If we flip Boldy around over his last 20 games, he's hit this in 55% and averages 3.6. His shots on goal is 3.5, so that is slightly over the average, but nonetheless, data likes the under, and that's what we're going to rock with. All right, nothing too crazy, though, for NHL. There's really nothing available there. Still no prize picks for MMA yet, only underdog. Um, right now we have Kareem Silva, over 40.5 significant strikes as an option. Uh, we have Veronica Hardy. Uh, we've got Denise. We've got Mauricio Rufi. We've got Damon Jackson. Um, all of these guys are going to be top options that you have right here. All right. My cat was over there messing with my damn cords on my massage chair. I didn't want that. <laughs> I had to throw a, uh, I, I threw one of my sport cards at her so I could get her away from my uh, massage chair and not biting on my cords. This little, this little motherfucker likes to bite cords and ruin electronics. I got to be on top of it. Uh, tennis, nothing over there. Soccer, nothing. League of Legends, nothing. Dota 2, nothing. CS2, we just don't have anything at the minute. Uh, Valorant has a little bit. Let's refresh and see esports real quick. Uh, just verifying NBA again. Nothing there. For esports, we do have some. Uh, again, it refreshes every three seconds, so if you don't see something, just refresh. Um, CS2, Grim over 29.5 first two map kills. Uh, at a one sportsbook differential. Sportsbook lines are at 30.5 on average on him. If we flip it over, we will see over his last five, he's hit 100%, averaging 31.8. So great spot on the over for Grimm. Rehi, over 26.5, first two map kills at a one sportsbook differential. 27.5 is the average line for him. If we look over the 20 games, we'll see that he's only has four games here for data-wise. 25%, 23.7 average, but a good spot for the over here. And then last but not least, try. Over 30.5 first two map kills at a one sportsbook differential. 31.5 is the average sportsbook line on him. Look at his history. He's hit at 60%, averaging 36 kills, and his line is at 30.5. All right? Um, thank you all for joining me. As always, I don't think there's anything. There's just underdogs for Valorant. We have Moco under 29.5 first two map kills at a minus one. And then SRN under 40.5 first two map kills at a minus one. All right? Other than that, Nothing too crazy at the moment. It is still early on. Obviously, we have some great NFL. Um, just looking at the game for Philly and Washington tomorrow, you can type in the abbreviation for one of the teams and just look at that game alone for Thursday Night Football. Jaden Daniels under 226.5 passing yards at a minus 2.6 sportsbook differential. Sportsbook line of 223.9, player projection of 217.7. Look at the history over the season. He's hit at 50%, averaging 214.7 this year. His line's at 226.5. Data likes the under as well. Jalen Hurts, over 267.5 passing plus rushing at a 2.17 sportsbook differential. 269 sportsbook line on the over. Player projection of 267, liking the over. 
uh, has gone over 66.6% of the time, averaging 261.5 this season. Good spot for him to go over here against this bad Washington secondary. Um, Jalen Hurts over 224.5 passing yards. He averages 219.5 passing yards a game this season, but again, great matchup against Washington. Dallas Goddard over 30.5 receiving yards at a 0 0.94. Starting to get to where the lines are incredibly tight, but if we flip this over, we'll see he's hit in 66.6% .6 of the time, averaging 54.3 receiving yards. All right, really good spot on the over for Goddard as well. All right, but last but not least, that's it. You know what I mean? I mean, last but not least, let me let me check. Last but not least, last but not least, let's check NBA again. Nothing. John Collins under 12.5 rebounds assists is going to be our best play for NBA at the moment. You can pair it up with a Goblin if you want to just to make sure you get a high probability slip in. You can pair it with Derek Lively, the second over 0 0.5 turnovers. It's looking like a really good one. Over the season so far, over the last 10, he's gone over this in 90%, averaging 1.3 turnovers a game. His line's at 0 0.5. So it's a, good, it's a good one to pair up with Collins right now to get a nice little double up high probability slip in. All right. Thank y'all for joining me as always, man. PropsMadeEasy.com, only $20 a month. If you haven't joined yet, you need to. Thank y'all as always, man, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.